The circuit has rubbered in with practice, but this is still going to be a difficult session for our drivers as they fight for pole position. Welcome to qualifying here in Azerbaijan. Alright, welcome to Azerbaijan in Baku. Uh, well, first qualifying lap here. This is definitely not the best circuit for our car. Uh, obviously we have the uh, worst engine here and this track is pretty much all power you know for the first half all you have are the long straights with 90 degree corners uh, and then for towards the second half of the lap it's more of the uh, you know tighter corners but you see like each time it just gets a more and more 90 degree angle as we do knock the front wing there uh, which kind of sucks it's very hard braking and then a quick uh, right left a lot of the times the C gets smaller and smaller each time and we're gonna have another left right here and then the whole back or the last part of the track is like a mile long of a curved straight if that makes sense uh, so yeah, definitely not the best track for our car but we're gonna try to uh, maybe squeeze in some points today uh, we'll see this is the tightest corner on the calendar as you can see very easy to hit a wall uh, so we gotta make sure we definitely don't do that, and we had wing damage. The thing with the wing damage is, we're running such low down force that it really doesn't matter if we have too much wing damage, because like on a scale of 1 to 12, uh, where we put our wing, we put it at a 1. So it's not like this wing is doing much anyway, it's more of just uh, getting us a better top speed, because as you're going to see up here on this track, get another 90 degree corner, take it very wide there, it's just like, it's a lot of braking. Uh, for the car to handle, we don't have the best chassis either, and this is kind of like where it's top speed or full throttle. You're kind of just turning, and then the very, very long straight here, about a mile long actually, as we reach 340, 343 kilometers, as our battery runs out and we qualify P18, which means we did not move on to the second round, which kind of sucks. Uh, so yeah, P18, it will be. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku City Circuit then, an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk briefly about Sebastian Vettel. Looks like they All right, let's not talk briefly today. about Sebastian Vettel here. So P18, we have a long way to go. Uh, I see Verstappen's actually winning the uh, championship right now. It's only been three races though, four to twenty-one. I'm trying to improve the quality of these uh, as we continue. Uh, hopefully, they get better and better with the editing and stuff. I hope you guys are liking it. I know it's not exactly what I do, but kind of just waiting until Horizon Four here. So, they said we start from the back. It's actually P20. Uh, I thought we were 18 for some reason, uh, but we do get a somewhat okay start here. Uh, we are running in low fuel, so we're able to get such a good jump here, as you were able to see. Running in low fuel, uh, so we're a lighter car. Uh, heading into turn two here, we do have the Haas in front of us as well. As Charles Leclerc in front of us, we are in P14. Vettel is behind us. He should definitely be a front runner, but had more engine penalties, or grid penalties from his engine. So as you see, tight left, right, we're not really trying to make any bold moves here, as Magnussen actually almost brake checks me as he does brake check me there but surprisingly I do not have any damage as you can see uh, so no more flex tape for me uh, so yeah quick with the uh, left rights we're gonna have a huge slip strain uh, come towards the end of the lap here uh, but for now we just have to make sure we do not you know hit any of the cars it's kind of single file uh, through this part of the track as you're gonna see here uh, very cautious through there I do lose some time uh, but I just want to make sure I do not hit that wall and get, uh, you know, because the way these tires are, you can just hit the wall and you're going to lose it. So Vettel is trying to come with the inside here, very high speed corners. And we are running that low down force as Vettel does not attack me that corner. Thing is though, with Vettel, he's the much faster car. Uh, so I do not want to waste my time trying to battle with him and having those other guys in the front kind of like... Uh, what is it? kind of run away with it so I'm gonna give it all the position here he's gonna be making his way towards the front anyway uh, but for now it's kind of you know 
using our, our rich mi uh, mixture here, using the correct battery, and just getting in good laps until we take our pit stop, and then being able to see what we do here. But with the slipstream, we're actually going to be able to pass the Ferrari, and so is Pierre Gasly. So that just tells you how crazy a mile worth of slipstream does to you. Uh, fast forward here to later on in the second lap. Uh, once again to this section here, Vettel is actually going to try to go up the inside. We do kind of leave him space here, but we don't want to hit that wall. Gasly's still right behind him. Uh, actually try to take this corner very quickly, as you can see. N trying to get away from Vettel, because he will pass us yet again up here if I do not get far enough away from him. Which is, uh, it might happen, I'm not sure. Uh, back again on the straight here. Now this part... Vettel right here. Gasly's right here too. So the slip stream is going to be good for Vettel, but it's also going to be good for Gasly. As see Vettel goes past us fairly easily. Gasly on the inside. It was three wide there for a little bit. We get a double overtake, and so Rockin's actually trying to go behind us. We're going to late break and take the wide line here, allowing room for Vettel so we don't uh, get clipped by him. Uh, but he's going to try to go up the inside here as well too, still allowing that room. Like I said, I don't want to uh, get clipped and hit the wall and then have our race pretty much be done uh, especially on lap 3 uh, so Vettel's actually kind of getting caught up here uh, but I'm not going to challenge this one here Gasly, or Sorokin actually passed Gasly and he tried to get us there yeah so now we have the Williams behind us Gasly is behind the Williams as well at the end of lap 3 but we are going to take our pit stop here uh, a pretty cool pit lane to kind of go into you kind of have to break and turn at the same time which is definitely cool uh, so, Vettel goes in there, and we are going to pack in behind us. So we're taking the early pit stop, kind of get away from the pack, if that makes sense. And, uh, and so hopefully uh, the people that were in front of us get slowed up a little bit while we're running in free air. Although it's not the free of air, but Vettel is far away now. We probably won't be seeing him anymore. Uh, so yeah, quick pit stop on... Uh, the third lap, but Gasly is actually going to take his pit stop. As you can see, the guys are in the pit lane right now on the sixth lap of the race, so they took it at the end of five. Same thing. And we're going to come out extremely close to our teammate in Pierre Gasly. In fact, he's going to come out in front of us, but not until this turn. We go in deep, and he still gets it. So, work. Uh, Gasly's strategy worked a little bit better for him than us, but we have the huge slipstream here. That's the craziness of this track. I mean, at this point, it doesn't even matter what engine you have. You're just going to catch up with that slipstream. Same with Monza and Spa, and those tracks are coming up soon. Not really soon, uh, but those are definitely coming up as well. So, halfway point in the race here, Stroll behind us. We're sitting P15. We're not really in points. There's a huge gap to the Claire up there. So, uh, our chances of getting points are very low here. We're kind of just racing for a second. And as you see, the Williams is actually going to go up the inside, and we're going to get clipped. Stroll clipped us there. I thought I gave enough space. Apparently not. I have severe wing damage, and we are now in 18th uh, because Stroll had to retire there. So uh, 18th out of 19th now. Not very good. Eric's the only one behind us, and with this wing damage, it's going to make this corner very, very difficult here. Low wings and damage wings are not good, and as you see, we did not get to turn good enough. And we're gonna have to fast forward this here uh, for me trying to get out of this. I gotta stop go penalty. Eventually get out of it about 20 30 seconds later, and yeah, now our chances are really over. Basically, so much damage at this point, I cannot even turn. The tire's gonna fall off. I mean, I, I saved some laps on the engine. Whatever. Uh, yeah, definitely not the greatest of races here as we get the retirement. But Hamilton did win. Not the coolest, but whatever. Uh, Raikkonen did catch up there as well. Raikkonen is actually doing really, really well. It's gonna be a great battle with the three teams there. Uh, let's see, that's Perez in seventh. Great for him. Yeah, so Baltas in second. I believe that is Vettel. Or not Vettel, Raikkonen definitely up there too. So two Mercedes. 
and one Ferrari. So we have a chance to do a contract here, so we're going to go ahead and do one. Uh, what I'm basically going to do is just put up, like the qualifying position, I'm going to put it to 13. Same with the expected race position, uh, because I, I want to be the first driver, so that's why I put the first driver there. The thing is though, I'm going to get more resource points that way. Uh, that one did not work, so I had to do an easier contract here, I just put down some of the perks. Uh, eventually, when I get a higher value with the team, I'll be able to get some of those perks. Uh, but for now, we'll just do this, and that's going to work. Uh, and we are with the team now officially for a little while until we get a new contract. So uh, that's definitely good here. As you see, we are in 11th, just a couple uh, with Pierre Gasly right there, actually eight points apiece, and fifth or six in the standings. Not too bad, actually. We still have a, a little bit of time left on those engine parts. Otherwise, we still have parts waiting to come in for Monaco. Uh, as you see here, a redesigned layout we can work on that. Our arrow still isn't exactly there, uh, so it would be efficient to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. Uh, same with the chassis. You know, we don't have enough points to do the major upgrade, unfortunately. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and do the quality control upgrade to just make sure that that major spark plug does not fail. That'd be very bad if that does fail. Uh, otherwise, that's the end of this video. See you guys next.